Welcome to the Executive Director's Desk, James Bennington from Back Bay Mission. And I'm here with our recovery housing team um, today in our new build, which actually is going to go on the market at the end of this week. So I want them to share a little bit about their reflections in the new build. Now, LaShonda is really new, so she may not have quite as much to say, right? Correct. Yeah, so LaShonda is <laughs> our newest staff in housing recovery. Um, and you do a lot of the intakes, a lot of the paperwork, you really assist Sam in the work that she yes. does. And Miss Patrice, you sh share a little bit what you do and, and keep it brief. Oh, that's hard. I, know. Um, I help Sam too. But um, I'm the community outreach specialist and I got I came in when you first started this. So it's been um, great watching it go from nothing to this. Um, and being a part of that and helping out this community has just been wonderful. I, I love the people I work with and what we do for our community. Yeah, and Patrice works out of a kind of a local church here in the Gaston Point neighborhood where this new build is. So Samantha, what do you do? Tell us a little bit and yeah. Absolutely. I'm Samantha, as he stated, I'm the Housing Recovery Program Manager and um, I wear a lot of hats. So uh, make sure that we have the funding that we need to assist the people mm -hmm. in the community and um, work with the volunteers, our contractors, just multiple, multiple things. But um, like Ms. Patrice said, to piggyback off her, just excited about the work that we're doing in the community. And Craig Seencamp is kind of the head honcho. Um, and we also have, <laughs> this, we also have Mr. Todd, who isn't here today, but he's somewhere else working, um, working on a work project, Absolutely. right? So Craig, tell us a little bit about your vision for these smaller homes in the Gaston Point neighborhood. So before, uh, when I took over GCHR, which is Gulf Coast Housing Initiative, uh, there was a study done uh, and uh, the study showed that there was only about two and a half people per household in Harrison County. So we said, well, why don't we build smaller and not bigger? And so we're building these cottage style homes to really accommodate families at a smaller capacity um, and more affordable uh, for, for the families in, in this area. Um, and really affordability with the, with the market the way it's been uh, lately there's nothing being developed uh, at the affordable housing rates. So uh, our answer to that is these smaller style cottages and keeping them affordable. And we have a wonderful volunteer out of Florida um, that is helping design these cottages for us and keeping in mind that it goes towards a, either a low income, uh, well, it goes towards a low income family, but ultimately if it takes a while to sell to a low income family, we'll turn it into uh, low-income rentals, which is still keep it affordable families on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And the beautiful thing about this house is that there have been probably at least 300 volunteer hands that have touched this house, so it'll be 600 hands, 300 yes. volunteers <laughs> who have touched this house um, and who have helped build this house, knowing that it was gonna be for potentially first-time home buyer, somebody that was lower income, somebody that was living in poverty, right. that needed an incredibly well-built quality home in the Gaston Point neighborhood, which is a historical black neighborhood here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And so we're excited to partner um, together, right, with the community, because we do some organizing here. Patrice has been very involved in that. Some organizing in the community to really kind of lift up the community um, and really, um, work for equity and justice um, in the Gaston Point community. So, any additional thoughts? So, what are your feelings to be a part of this kind of project? Um, I know I kind of get goosebumps when yeah. I walk up here. I get a lot of goosebumps. It's, it's amazing. And, and when we were praying for the, the this house and the the people who will actually be inhabiting the, in yeah, mm -hmm. in this house, all I could think about was just love and peace. Yeah, uh, you know, it's and and you pray that the people who come into this home will be filled with so much love and peace because that's what it was built on. Yep. It's lots of love, joy. lots of love, yep. Yep. and um, you know, it's, it's just exciting to be a part of that. And I'm gonna pass it as I'm working in this neighborhood. Go, I remember, I remember. <laughs> Look at that yeah. house that we helped do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because we've done yeah. a lot of rehab yes. um, and rebuilding in this neighborhood too, a lot. Yes, yes. Um, and the house next door, I remember when we had 20, 25, 30 youth from Chicago crawling all over the roof, re-roofing the house. Right. Um, and they did some gardening. Mm -hmm. For those who want, didn't, weren't on the roof, they went and bought plants and mm -hmm. 
did some landscape for the woman who rents that house. It's a part of Back Bay Mission too. So, you know, it's, it's all about building and expanding and bringing equity and justice into the lives of people that we serve. When you run across these people in the neighborhood at the grocery store or whatever, and they see you and tell you, thank you, I, would have, I couldn't have made it, I, you know, every, for everything that you've done. And it's, it's just like, that makes you feel so good. You get goosebumps, you start crying, you know, because they're, they're so appreciative of the work that we do. Absolutely, the reward is in what mm -hmm. we do. Mm -hmm. so. Well, every house, you know, whether a, whether a new build or, or a, a rehab, you know, we, we've talked to yours about transforming homes but also transforming lives, lives and also right. transforming neighborhoods. Yes. So every house we touch, typically the whole neighborhood is transformed. That's right. And the lives within that house just completely get transformed mm -hmm. and, and people can really concentrate and move their lives forward and not just worried about the roof over the head, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So it's really transforming lives on a level we don't even comprehend. Yeah. Uh, what we do for families and and keep families be from becoming unsheltered and that kind of thing. It's just, it's transforming on, at a whole different level. I have two words. God's work. God's work. Yep. God's work our hands, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's it, God's work our hands. Mm -hmm. and, and it is, it's, it's powerful because we do not know how transformed and how changed lives are. Mm -hmm. I mean, we get to experience it initially, but mm -hmm. moving forward, you know, that's, that's the beautiful part of the story, right? Yes. And like Sam has a story, you know, that's how she ended up at Back Bay. Absolutely. And so everybody has a story on how we end up here doing this work, but it's really God's work with our hands. Because, you know, um, it, it, we are, Teresa Avila is one of my favorite mystics, and she talks about how we're God's hands, feet, eyes, nose, mouth, you know, in every way. We're all a part of the body. And we're all a part of the body, and we're all a very important part of the change we want to see happen in the world. So, so thank you. I don't know if we all had you on camera ever before in one group. It's kind of cool. <laughs> sorry, I, I launched that on you. So. <laughs> sorry, Todd wasn't here and other, in our long-term yeah. volunteers because without our volunteers, our weekly volunteers and long-term volunteers, we wouldn't be able to accomplish yeah. what we do on a, on a daily basis. So um, sorry, Todd, construction supervisors, not yet, and Will and Hewlin Brown from from Georgia on here to partake in this. And we've had we've had the Hewlins on camera before, but we'll get them on again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we appreciate y'all for joining us and kind of hearing our story of transformation because that's transforming neighborhoods. That's one of our key phrases for our mission. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're about. It transforms us in the process, right? Yes. So yes, come down and volunteer. Come down and serve. Come down and be a part of the change. Thank you.